Good morning, everybody. Hello there. Now, today's exciting adventure involves putting water onto the car. Yes, I've got to wash the car today, folks. It's got to be washed because uh, I'm expecting a phone call from Arnold Clark. Mr. Arnold Clark. Mr. Clark's going to phone me and say, Mr. Betty, I have a blue Picanto car ready for you to pick up. Thank you so much for your custom. At least, I think he's going to do that anyway. So, um, hopefully that's going to happen this week. So, I better get the car cleaned and ship shape. Here we are at, uh, we've arrived in Dundee. Here we have a really great John's the Dundee work today. We're going to go looking for some statuettes, some little sculpture things that have been uh, planted around Dundee city centre. And it's all to do with the nine trades of Dundee. So you've had to kind of guess where they are. It's going to be quite hard to, to find because I know where a couple of them are, but the rest I don't really know. So I'll need to probably go online and see if I can find a little map to see if they're there. But, uh, so, right, the Nine Trades of Dundee. What are the Nine Trades of Dundee? Well, Nine Trades of Dundee, they all used to meet back in the old days, back in the uh, the, the house at this uh, centre stone. Now, unfortunately, the house shut, so I can't get in there and show you the stone. But that's where they all used to congregate and meet back in the old days. Um, and the Nine Trades have all got a special part in Dundee history. You all you see dotted all over the city square now, all over the streets. You just see masks everywhere now. That's what you see. Right, yeah, so all you see littered all over the, the city streets now. Uh, wherever you go, you see these, these masks, you know, these sort of disposable throwaway ones. That's all you see. Now, the ones I use are these ones here. So they can kind of come up like this and keep you cosy as well. I just don't like those, uh, those ones, you know. Although I do have a couple in the car, I must admit, because remember that day, bro, oh, we're doing a mask, he said. So I went to the shop to buy one, and I actually only bought a pack of 12, which cost about six quid. Anyway, never mind. So that's all you see all over the streets these days. And you know what they remind me of, folks? Um, it's quite rude, but they remind me of uh, lady sanitary towels. Um, <laughs> I've just been whiffed off and just, you know, just whiffed and thrown away. Anyway. Right, we always say hello to Alan when we come past here. He was the busker. I told you this story before. He uh, used to play in a band called Wide and he did his own stuff as well. He used to sit here in the uh, in the tunnel and just play away, you know. He said, do you want me to play anything? Yeah, Pink Floyd, come through them. Now, here we go. What kind of... Now, here's a question for those guitarists. What chord... is Alan playing? There you go. See if you can guess. A, a wall plaque dedicated to the nine trades of Dundee. As you can see, they're all there. Get back and see more nice and clearly now. So the nine trades of Dundee now. They were all sort of old style trades. Uh, you don't get them here anymore, but it's all to do with bonnet making and uh, f flesh, fleshers and hammer men, metal workers, tailors, bonnet makers, all that sort of stuff. All the old sort of trades that we don't have anymore. But um, we'll try and find out more about them as we go on. I'll never remember what they are. So here's a here's a little um, thing. Here's a here's a here's an image, an image of the. Uh, off the nine trades of Dundee. There they are. Oh, looks like you just want to have a park in the street today, don't they? Well, we'll just heads up, folks, there, because I told you last week that the, uh, you could park in the city centre for free, but the parkies are out, folks. We've just seen one out and about there, so 
just as well. I was going to just park in the city centre, so I just abandoned the car to space. But luckily, uh, I parked in the car park. There's these pigeons congregating here. Look at them. This must be the, the pigeon hangout right here. Is this where they all hang out? Right at the bottom of this, this little lamppost right here. Right, folks, so in amongst the bleat of the seagulls, I found the first one there. It's there, look, it's like hammer and pliers just right down there. It's actually stuck, obviously, to the, the thing. So I think it has to do with the metal workers of uh, Dundee. So that's one down, eight to go. Yeah, oh, Shifting bobbins, course and fine, they fairly make you work for your ten and nine. Okay, right. And on top of this one we have Information all spilled the wrong way, look. The information monkey. Right, folks, hello, hello to the bus drivers of Dundee there. And um, they were helping me look for these uh, nine trade sculptures. They only could mention one. And uh, uh, I think they found something else as well. They said there was a, a bit of graffiti there. So we'll go looking for that. Right, well, we all know the, uh, well, I was here the other day, wasn't I, just here, with this, uh, the facade beamed down onto the, onto the floor. And also we have here, folks, a very famous, Dundee, the five penguins of Dundee. Here they are. Let's have a look at them all. There they go. There they are. Well, it's product placement time here at Jaglers. We have the tag. Ooh, uh, is that supposed to be Steve McQueen? I don't know, is it? A oh, massive head, Steve McQueen. I'm not sure if that's who he is. I think it's just a model. I don't know. I don't know. Is that Steve McQueen? I don't know. Hard to tell. So there we go, Tag Hua sponsors. I don't know, that's not how you pronounce it, Tag Hua, is it? <laughs> I don't know what these are supposed to be for, folks. I have got a clue. Oh, weird things like alien eyeballs. What's this? What have I found here, folks? What's this? Oh, that's what I one. I think it's one of the sculptures, man. Is that one of them? Yes, I think so. It looks like a, something to do with sewing. That could be the bobbins or something, isn't it? Yes, well, I found one. Excellent. Right, folks, I think I found one just, just by wandering around, just looking. I think this is the uh, the bobbins and the sewing because it's got a bee on it and it's, it's definitely a thread with a, I think that's one of those, what do you call those things? A, a cotton reel kind of thing, you know? So and it's all got a, tangled up here with uh, with a knot and some, some wire or some thread or something. So there we go. We found one. That's two down. No, three down. No, two down. Two down. Seven to go. There's this one. There's a hand, 
don't know if that is one or not, is it? Not sure. Right folks, I've stumbled across this hand. I don't know if that's got anything to do with um, with any of the trains. I really don't know, I don't think so, but uh, there it is anyway, the base of this is strange indeed. Right. I think I see another one actually. Here's all the colour. Well, first, I first know. Here's all the colour. Well, first, I first know. Well, that's three, three down. That just says Rainbird on it. Rainbird. That's strange. Right, folks. Yeah, I found another one. Here we go. Look. That's the idea. That's the reading. is a book with some glasses but I can't find anything on the list to really do with books or uh, or ideas or thoughts or philosophy or anything like that so I'm not quite sure what this one is is for but uh, still another good find in it this chaps to the way H for hat that'll be the bonnet makers no doubt there we go Right, folks, this one here, this is the uh, the hat. This one Bro found the other day. This is the one that kind of got us on the way to find these things. It was a Bro that found this one, so I went on to the Bro. So this is the uh, the bonnet, bonnet makers. There we go, fantastic. This one's just a dart. That's weird. Dart. A dart. So I don't know what the dart could possibly be. Metal workers or dart players have done Dundee, because I used to play darts, obviously it's great fun. So uh, it might be a homage to Dundee dart players, or it could be one of the nine trades, I'm not sure folks, but there we go. Imagine if that was an actual dart, that'd be a least of that. Well, as soon as we're doing the statues, folks, I suppose we're going to do Mary Slicer. There she is. Very famous Dundonian, more famous than I am, yes. Oh, decorous there, isn't it, look. Back of the church. Right, well this has sort of turned into a, a statue hunt of Dundee, Dundee's famous statues I suppose. I think I found about maybe six of the uh, the uh, the nine trades kind of thing. So I've come down here to the, uh, right to the other side of Dundee now, where one of my favourite statues, in fact probably my favourite statue is right here now. We've been past this many a time before we actually realised what it was. We actually thought it was, as you can see here. What do you think this is folks? Now, if you walk past that, you just think that's a car with a tarpaulin or a, a cover over it, wouldn't you? But, I mean, as you add to it, it is in fact, ding, 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 just a statue. It's just a, a sculpture, which is totally amazing, man. It's just been so well crafted to make it look like the folds and the creases off a, off a cover or a tarpaulin over a car. Look, look at the wing mirror, but how cool is that, man? Obviously, this wing mirrors don't go in. But uh, there you go, look at that. Isn't that just fantastic? The best thing ever, man. There's a great statue, well worth coming down here just to have a, a little gander at that. Look at that, fantastic. There's something on the bottom here. NO plus OH. Some sort of formula thing. What does this to do with the, the low admissions, I think? That's what that's all about. And, uh, there the catalyst at the end, there we go. Now the reason I came down here as well was because one of the bus drivers said he showed me a picture of a, an alien uh, graffiti. He said it was just down beside the science centre. So I'm down here, but I can't see, can't see no alien. I'll have a little wander about so we can see. I'm stuck here. Obviously they've been building benches in an outside area here for this pub. It looks like they've kind of had to stop for some reason, man. All right, okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to go all the way back down again and round. Unless, can I sneak through? No, I'm going to have to go all the way back, folks. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay, I'll find a bit I can sneak through, folks, because I'm nice and thin. I can get through here. Bro would never make this so 
You'd have to go the other way. There we go. Made it. Right. Let's have a look through front of the cinema. Right, here we go. This one of my Dundee, isn't it? Schemas. one maybe at the rep a statue but uh, instead we've just got all these weird mosaics Plane penguin? Oh, that's one of the Dundee penguins. Or now behind me here, this used to be uh, a Dundee bookshop. The uh, oh, now what was it called? The the Students' Library of Dundee. So it was a great, a great bookshop. It really was, man. I had loads of textbooks and reference books and all sorts of books in there. I just can't remember what it was called now. But, um, oh, goodness me. Uh, we'll find out though. We will. Um, but uh, now it's just a, a health and beauty parlour thing. Not that I need to go there. I don't know this is supposed to be, but it's quite alien looking, quite dystopian looking there, isn't it? Yeah. Right, well, we can't go by the uh, going about the trades of Dundee without actually coming to what's called the Trades House. This is the pub, the Trades House. Folks, we have all the trades uh, on the glass window seats. So we'll go by them one by one. So here we go. This one's the. Uh, Journalism right oh, here. We go. Journalism. We have stonemasons. There we go. We have the weavers. Jenny Danga Weaver and the Weaver Danga back. Yeah. Right, so we have shipbuilding. There we go. We have the malt man, the beer maker. We have reflection of Fresh makers basically. That's there. The bakers, of course, the bakers, yes. There we go. There's a, a statue for the butchers. I don't know. <laughs> now, find up the clock. Ten to eight. Okay. All right, folks. That completes my uh, my journey looking for statues and things. Is that Fast Eddie? I don't know. I thought Fast Eddie had been uh, banned from the the city centre. Man, I don't know. But uh, anyway. There we go. So we found a few of the statues, which is great. And I hope you enjoyed that, folks. So we will, as always, see you uh, in my next adventure. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. Subscribe, like, smile, be happy, be nice to each other. And we'll see you, as I said, very soon, folks. Yes, yeah, so... Oh, Craigie, that was close. Right, stay. Stay. Let's see. Right, folks, well, I found a hand. Now, I think the hand has got something to do with the glovers. That'll be the uh, another trade down, so that's uh, the glovers. Although it's got bones kind of sticking through, so... Uh, but, so there you go. Glovers, uh, I'm assuming they made gloves. Gloves, yep. There we go. That's another one down.